so I'm finally doing my wrap up for June. So June, I only read nine books. I haven't really been reading that much, guys. I don't know what it is, like why I was in a reading slump, but I don't know. Maybe it's because I wasn't working. Like maybe working is what motivated me to read. Because in May, I didn't read that much either. But it doesn't matter because now I'm back on my reading BS. Like I've been reading a lot lately. So July, we have nothing to worry about. So I read, like I said, I read nine books this month. I read two graphic novels and a bunch of short stories. Like I was for real not trying to read. Like I think I was too busy buying books, not busy enough to be reading books. So, so the first book I read was Snot Girl Volume Three. Snot Girl is my favorite graphic novel. I love it so much. Well, comics. Sorry, Cecilia from Cecilia Reads has informed me that when it's a bunch of issues like when it has a bunch of volumes it's a comic and when it's only one it's a graphic novel so she's educating your girl i just like the term graphic novel better i don't know but this is a comic and so i can't even tell you what it's about because it makes no sense whatsoever like i purely read snot girl for the aesthetics a lot of you the main character is a terrible person and she reminds me of her myself but like a lot more selfish and self-centered i just love the artwork like it's some of the most beautiful thing ever but i can never tell you what goes on in it like it's just it's like i did crack before i read the book almost the next book i read was will you be mine and this was the best it was childhood friends to lovers and it was about this guy and this girl who fake date they've been best friends and they fake date to go to this wedding and the guy is like pining after the girl and i love childhood friends to lovers but only if it's childhood enemies to friends to lovers or it has angst and this was like very cute you know and it was black love so i gave it four out of five stars i'm very proud of myself because this month i've been reading or recently actually i've been reading more black books by black authors black romance black love like i've been reading a lot more black and I love that because when people come to my channel, like obviously I look black, but I want people to know how important being black is to me. I want people to get more black book recommendations from me when they come to my channel. Like I want people to come to my channel and know like Mayanna has some good black author recommendations or black book recommendations, you know, that's my goal for the rest of the year. So I'm really proud of myself with how many black books I've read and I've been needed to do better and I'm glad that I got that push to do better. The next book I read was Emergency Contact and this was by N.K. Jemiskin. This was a short story. I listened to it on Audible Escape. I think that's what it's called or just Audible in general. And it's basically about this person being sent out into Earth because Earth was like no longer livable. So they're being sent back out to Earth to receive something. And this is written in second person. I just want to say that N.K. Jemiskin writing is very amazing. This is my first N.K. Jemiskin book. And it made me very excited to read more of her books because it was like 33 pages and it was hard hitting like it was one of the best books I've read this month in only 33 pages. So your girl N.K. Jemison is absolutely amazing and I want to say if you've never read anything by her and you have Kindle Unlimited definitely check this out because you can read on Kindle Unlimited. And if you have read things by her and you absolutely love her and you want more of her check this book out like it's short and it's short like what what reason do you have not to read this book the next book i have is heavy vinyl and this was gifted to me this is basically about like girl fighting the patriarchy like they all have a band together they work in a music store and it's very cute and i love the artwork one thing about me and comics slash graphic novels is if i like the artwork i'm more likely to love it i don't rate my graphic novels by the way only the ones i really love which are always five out of five stars like if i say like oh i read snot girl and i get a five out of five stars i didn't really give it five out of five stars i just really loved it i don't rate my graphic novels i don't think it's fair because i solely read based off of how much i love the artwork and i don't feel like that's fair to rate graphic novels based on that either a no star like i don't care two three stars like it was okay or five stars like i loved it like all my graphic novels go like that so there's no point in me rating my graphic novels you know the next book i have is rafe and this is a male nanny book this is by rebecca weatherspoon i read a lot of rebecca weatherspoon back in august and i wanted to get to rafe but i kind of wore myself out with reading her and i never got back to her until this month and so rafe is about a man a male nanny and he goes to work for this black doctor she has two daughters and he helps her out and they fall in love it's really short it's really cute 
she's really cute see i highly suggest checking it out rebecca's witherspoon's books are really good and it has one of those scenes where she drunk texts him and i don't know why but i just love drunk texting scenes like i feel like i would be a drunk texter if i had anybody to text the next book i read was hamlet and i listened to the i don't know what the group is called but bridget books and molly from magical molly they have this group where they read like hamlet and plays and stuff so they read hamlet and i literally watched the live stream like all uh, i'm i'm came in maybe half so i watched like three hours of it but i still kind of as a read hamlet is one of my favorite classics that i read when i was in high school like i really enjoyed it and i really need to get one of those editions you can follow along with like the more recent english instead of early english because i did not understand what the heck they were saying in this book and luckily i read hamlet so i knew what was happening but your girl was confused because i haven't read it in a while so yeah but this was good and i really like this edition that i have and i wish that i could find more shakespeare books in this edition because this is beautiful next book i read is the ai who loved me and that was about this girl and she lives next door to an ai that's what it is and it's by Alyssa Cole it's very good I got it on Kindle Unlimited I think I either paid for it or I got it on Kindle Unlimited I'm pretty sure it was on Kindle Unlimited it was really cute it was really like sci-fi obviously this person was an AI and I thought it was like funny because there would be moments where she would say something like men are trash and then he would be like actually that doesn't make any sense men can't be trash because they're humans you know like he says stuff like that because he's an AI and I really thought that that was interesting and I liked the love like I thought it was interesting and it wasn't like i think i gave it like three stars i'm sorry i haven't told you any of the ratings for these books i suddenly forgot how to do wrap-ups i am absolutely trash let me go back okay will you be mine i get four out of five stars emergency content emergency skin i gave 3.5 out of five stars i mean 4.5 brave 4.5 hamlet 4.5 the ai who loved me three stars and then i read flat when you land which i gave five out of five stars which is the best book i've read all months and months all year this book is about two sisters who don't know their sisters and they have a dad and their dad is basically he has he lives two lives like he is hannah montana he's the male dominican hannah montana because he is living two lives and nobody knows it and so once the dad dies from a plane crash the sisters end up finding out that they're related and I just thought it was so interesting because it was written so well. And Elizabeth Acevedo's writing is so beautiful and she writes this in verse. I believe that Elizabeth's verse books that she writes, I just love more because with The Fire on High, I didn't really care about that much. Like I liked it, but it was like a three star read. The Poet X, I loved. And this one is my favorite Elizabeth Acevedo book because it touches on a lot of topics that I enjoyed. And I also just liked like reading this book and then thinking like oh my god the dad is absolutely terrible and then feeling bad because you know the dad passed away and i even read the acknowledgments in this book and i don't read acknowledgments like that once the book is done i'm done you know but i read the acknowledgments and even what she wrote at the end was just absolutely beautiful and how it related to her life and how she got the idea for this story and elizabeth acevedo is one of my she is my favorite author and she's an autobiography author for me of course so i can't wait to see what she writes next year i'm hoping it's in verse but what if she does something where it's like one year's verse one year's regular one year's verse one year's regular elizabeth acevedo also narrates her own audiobook so that also adds a little flavor like a little love to it you know and i just absolutely love this book so much and the sister i also read this for juneteenth edition of blackathon which i only read one book for blackathon because my whole juneteenth weekend was ruined honey it was all ruined but i was so happy like i remember reading this book and being so happy and this book was just such a good time and i really do suggest checking this book out if you haven't already and if you haven't like why haven't you because you're missing out this is the book like this is the book this is the book of the year period the last book i read for the month it was riot baby which i gave four i think i gave it 3.5 out of five stars but i rated it four out of five on goodreads so riot baby is basically about these kids who have powers kind of not really and one of the boys is impersonated and i really just like the topics it ta was touched on it was a good book i listened to the audiobook i was kind of it was short 
It was very, very short. Like, it was like 100 pages, but I listened to the audiobook, and there were some scenes that I kind of got bored with. But I really liked the times. Like, it, it jumps times a lot, which I liked, and it follows a brother and a sister, which I really liked. And I really just like the topics of reading about the black community in books and just things that, like, I know about. And I just didn't really love this book all the way. Like, it didn't hit me like it hit everyone else. Or it didn't hit me like it hit a lot of people. But I obviously, like, I still really enjoyed it. And I will say, like, I highly recommend reading Riot Baby if you haven't. If you've been hearing about Riot Baby a lot and you haven't picked it up, you should. Because it was a really good book. But personally for me, it just didn't, it didn't hit like clap when you, i think it's because i was just not in a good mood when i read it and i had just finished clap when you land all the stuff that happened on juneteenth weekend happened and i really just want to finish another book and then i finished it and i was like mm, you know i just wasn't in a good mood so i do think i want to give it a reread eventually or i want to read another one of tony's books that's it for this wrap up really short really quick july won't be the same so don't expect the same energy in July. I'm going to be reading a lot more. I'm going to have so many more favorites. going to have more five stars. It's already July 3rd and I already have a five star read. So thank you for watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Leave the cherry emoji. I love the cherry emoji. I feel like cherry twitter even though i'm not really cherry twitter like i am way too black for cherry twitter you know they have a certain skin tone range and i just don't meet that but yeah thank you for watching this video please like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one